an F1 car for the road. Sounds impossible, right? The Aston Martin Valkyrie makes it a breathtaking reality. With a 6.5-litre Cosworth V12 engine roaring at 11,100 RPM and paired with an electric motor, it delivers an astonishing 1,139 horsepower. Weighing just 1,030 kilograms, its power-to-weight ratio is a mind-bending 1 to 1. From 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds to a top speed of 250 miles per hour, the Valkyrie isn't just fast, it's revolutionary. It even generates over 2,400 pounds of downforce, making every corner feel like a masterpiece of engineering. But how did Aston Martin create a hypercar that shatters records and redefines the limits of possibility? First, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on groundbreaking stories like this one. When you hear the name Aston Martin Valkyrie, it already sounds legendary, doesn't it? This hypercar is more than just a vehicle. It's a masterpiece, born from a unique collaboration between Aston Martin and Red Bull Racing. It all started with a codename, Nebula, which stood for Nui, Red Bull, and Aston Martin. From there, the project gained the name AMRB001. The AM stood for Aston Martin, the RB for Red Bull, and 001 signified it as their first groundbreaking production car together. In March 2017, the car got its official name, Valkyrie. It's named after the powerful Norse mythological figures, keeping with Aston Martin's tradition of using V names to define its high-performance cars. The name suits it perfectly. A car like this feels like something mythical, something otherworldly. The design of the Valkyrie is where you really see its magic, though. Imagine a car sculpted not just for speed, but to dominate physics itself. It's built with aerodynamics at its core, with every curve and every feature designed to enhance performance. The underfloor of the car is open, which may sound a little odd at first, but this design, it creates something called the Bernoulli and Venturi effects, where air rushes underneath the car and generates incredible downforce, 1800 kilograms of it at high speed. That's like having the weight of a full-grown rhinoceros pinning the car to the ground. It ensures the Valkyrie stays steady even as it slices through the air at lightning speeds. Take a closer look at the details. Above the front axle, there are gaps that let air flow through smoothly, and the large front splitter, that channels that air to increase stability. Even the wheels, they're not just wheels. They're designed to help manage airflow while staying as lightweight as possible. Every part of this car works together to give you the ultimate driving experience. Step inside and the Valkyrie feels like more of a spaceship than a car. When the interior design was leaked in 2017, it gave us all a glimpse of something futuristic. There's no traditional gauge cluster here. Instead, it's all about screens. On the corners of the cabin, you'll find screens for the camera side mirrors, replacing standard mirrors to reduce drag. A main screen sits at the top of the center console, and the steering wheel itself has a screen that acts as the driver's gauge cluster. This isn't just a car, it's a command center. The steering wheel itself deserves a moment of appreciation too. It's inspired by racing and comes loaded with dials and switches so the driver can make adjustments without taking their hands off the wheel. And if you're worried about space, don't be. The steering wheel is removable, giving you more room to get in and get out. The seats are another marvel. Made from hollow carbon fiber, they're shaped directly into the car's interior. And here's the best part. Each seat is custom made for the owner using 3D scanning technology. Aston Martin ensures the seat fits over the driver's body perfectly. It's like having a car tailored just for you. To keep you secure, each seat comes with a set of harnesses, so you're locked in snugly, ready to take on whatever the road or track throws your way. Even getting into the Valkyrie is an experience. The doors open like roof hatches, adding to the car's dramatic flair. Because the interior is so compact, Aston Martin has taken extra steps to make sure every detail enhances comfort and functionality. It's a tight fit, but that's the price of achieving such groundbreaking performance and design. The Aston Martin Valkyrie it isn't just a hypercar, it's a rare masterpiece with models so exclusive that owning one feels like joining a secret club. Aston Martin planned the Valkyrie's production with precision, ensuring that this revolutionary vehicle remains one of the most coveted cars in the world. In total, only 275 units were ever made. Of those, 150 are standard Valkyries, 85 are the Spider variant with removable roof panels, and just 25 are the track-only AMR Pro models. Each version serves a very specific purpose, but all share the same DNA, a blend of Formula One-inspired design. 
cutting-edge technology and jaw-dropping performance. With such a limited production, it's no surprise that the Valkyrie comes with a price tag that reflects its rarity and its engineering brilliance. If you were lucky enough to reserve one, the original cost started at around $3.5 million. However, in today's market, these cars they often sell for significantly more, especially the rarer AMR Pro and Spider models. The price can climb beyond $4 million depending on the customizations and the exclusivity of the unit. For collectors, this car isn't just an investment in speed and power, it's an investment in legacy. The Valkyrie represents a moment in automotive history, when Aston Martin and Red Bull Racing joined forces to push every conceivable boundary. Let's talk about the track-only AMR Pro version. This model takes the Valkyrie's performance to a completely new level. It ditches road legal constraints to focus purely on speed and handling, with an enhanced version of the V12 engine lighter construction and slick racing tires. The AMR Pro is built for the track. It generates over its own weight and downforce, enabling it to corner at an astounding 3.3 G. The AMR Pro isn't just fast, it's a true track weapon. It can even rival the performance of actual race cars, with a lap time at circuits like Silverstone that's nearly as quick as Formula One cars. This is a car built for those who like to live for the thrill of the racetrack. Aston Martin created the Valkyrie Spider for those who want the Valkyrie experience with a touch of open-air driving. Limited to just 85 units, this variant features removable roof panels, giving the driver a whole new sensory experience. Imagine hearing the roar of the 6.5-litre V12 engine at 11,100 RPM with nothing between you and the sky. The Spider, it is slightly slower than its coupe sibling, with a top speed of around 205 miles per hour when the roof is off. But the trade-off is a driving experience that's second to none. The Valkyrie isn't just about raw power and speed. Its design and its performance are a testament to collaboration and innovation. Aston Martin worked with some of the brightest minds in the industry, including Adrian Newey, Red Bull's racing design genius, to create a car that defies expectations. This partnership between a luxury car manufacturer and a Formula One team was a bold move that paid off spectacularly. The car's performance isn't its only impressive feature, though. The Valkyrie embodies the philosophy of creating something timeless. Its design elements, like the teardrop cockpit, advanced aerodynamics, and ultra-lightweight construction set a new benchmark for hypercars. The success of the Valkyrie has even inspired its younger sibling, the Aston Martin Valhalla, dubbed the Son of Valkyrie. The Valhalla aims to bring some of the same innovation to a slightly more accessible package. One of the most fascinating things about the Valkyrie is how it bridges the gap between road cars and Formula One. With its extreme performance capabilities, it's technically street legal in many countries, but only under strict regulations. For instance, in the United States, it falls under the NHTSA's show and display exemption. This means owners can only drive it up to 2,500 miles per year on public roads. It's clear the Valkyrie isn't meant for a daily commute. It's a car for special moments. But even with its limited road usability, the Valkyrie it offers something unparalleled. It's a hypercar that feels as at home on a racetrack as it does being admired in a collector's garage. As Aston Martin concludes Valkyrie production in 2024, the car's impact on the automotive world will be felt for decades to come. The Aston Martin Valkyrie it didn't just aim for greatness, it achieved it. Its recent record-breaking performance at Silverstone's GP circuit it proves the Valkyrie is more than just a hypercar, it's a technological marvel. With Le Mans winner Darren Turner behind the wheel, the Valkyrie clocked an unbelievable time of 1.56.42. This time shattered the previous 206.83 record set by a modified Porsche 911 GT2 RS and made the Valkyrie the first road car to break the two-minute barrier on the circuit. That's a full 10 seconds faster, a lifetime in racing terms. Even more impressively, the Valkyrie achieved this feat in its standard form, right down to its tyres. Turner described the experience as unparalleled, with acceleration and top speed exceeding anything he'd raced at Le Mans. Imagine hurtling down the Hamilton Strait at 170 miles per hour, or even pushing 180 miles per hour on the Hangar Strait, all in a car that you could legally drive home afterward. Yeah, after the record lap, they drove the Valkyrie on regular roads, proving its unmatched versatility. The lap, though, it didn't come without its challenges. Recent rain and a motorcycle event left the track surfaces a little less than ideal, but the Valkyrie, it still delivered. 
Turner hinted that with better conditions, there might be a few more tents, or even more, to shave off the time. That just speaks volumes about the car's potential. The record run, it wasn't just about numbers. It symbolized everything the Valkyrie stands for, pushing boundaries, blending track performance with road capability, and redefining what a hypercar can do. The Valkyrie doesn't just compete with road cars, it challenges GT3 racers and even edges closer to Formula 1 territory. While it's not quite at Max Verstappen's 127.097 pace, it's a monumental achievement for a road-legal car. With Adrian Newey's new Red Bull RB17 project promising even more, the future of hypercars looks thrilling. But for now, the Valkyrie stands as a pinnacle of engineering brilliance, a car that defied expectations and set new standards for performance. If this is what Aston Martin can achieve with the Valkyrie, the future is bound to bring even more jaw-dropping innovations. If you love this deep dive into the Aston Martin Valkyrie, make sure to hit subscribe and like this video. Comment below to tell us which car you'd like us to explore next. We can't wait to bring you more incredible stories from the world of hypercars.